I'm going to show you the exploding furnace. It's a temp star. It has the Honeywell smart valve system. You can see how that blows out of there. Now, that's not how a smart valve should work. You should have one click, a pilot, a niner who pilot, and then another click, your gas valve, main valve should come on and light the furnace uh, gently. So we have kind of like an exploding furnace here. And when the cover's on it, it'll be like a large thump. And of course that's not right. So we're going to replace the gas valve on here. So I just want to show you the, you know, something that could happen to your smart valve furnace and your explosion. Okay, let's go ahead and fire it up. One click, pilot, your igniter will make a pilot. Okay, there we have a start up. We get a second click and fire it up. Let's go ahead and, and do it one more time. One click pilot, two clicks. On the second click, your main valve should come on with not an explosion. First click, and then the second click, everything fired up, and we had no main explosion. Now we just want to watch the flames when the burnt on the blower comes on, and if we're shooting back at us, we have a bad heat exchange. No, our flames look good. They're shooting in nice and fine. And no explosions. I'm going to go ahead and put the sealed combustion cover back on. And then I'm going to try it one more time, make sure everything's okay. If it is, we're done. And that cures our exploding furnace problem. But I just wanted to make you aware that if, you have, if your furnace is blowing up, and uh, you really don't see that too often, but a smart valve can do it for you. It can blow you up. So, just some information I wanted to pass on. Of course, having a smart valve gas valves are kind of dumb, so having them control your furnace is quite not a good idea. Okay, I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to fire it up one more time, and then I'm going to be done here.